This is the next thing that I'm working on. I'm gonna make a giant pillow out of this blanket. This came in a set from, I got it from Joann's. It was for 50% off plus it had coupons. It's designed to make it into a throw so it has two pieces and you're supposed to, I guess, cut the edges and then tie them together to make this one full blanket. But instead, I'm gonna make one giant jumbo pillow and then the second blanket will be used as a blanket. So this is how it comes in a set of two. And there's the dimensions. This is the second blanket that goes with this set here. So I'm gonna make a pillow out of the pattern one and it's gonna have, you know, the lion's face and the words on it. And I'm using the stuffing from a couch. So I'm gonna show that really quick. Okay, this couch is in my workshop and this thing had to go. So instead of trashing the whole thing, I'm gonna reuse all of the cottony soft stuff in these pillows for the pillows that I'm making for my kids. So I only need two, and then I'm gonna use some of the, um... and here you see this has this thick batting on it. This material here is good to stabilize the pillows. So that's what I'm gonna do. And if you're interested in seeing how that comes together, then keep watching. So not a complete circle, but this is what we're gonna go with. And this white part, that's gonna be the bottom of it. So here's the shape we're working with. I adjusted it just a little bit, and then you can see the white sticking out. The couch cushions, I pulled the material off, and this is what it looks like inside. So this is the stuffing that I'm gonna be using for the pillow. Alright, so this is what I have so far. So what I'm doing now is gluing all the pieces together along the inside little rims right in there. I've already glued the ones on this side. I'm just going to glue these three together so it can be one nice mat. And then I'm taking this material, I'm going to cover over that so it can be kind of like in a little a bed with just this cushion. And I'm gonna show you how that's gonna work next. So what I'm gonna do is sew these three layers together in the form of a circle. So I'm just gonna set it with the pins and then I'm gonna come back with the pieces all sewn together so I, that I can add this last piece here.
here are the two pillows and as you can see the piece that I sewed earlier is underneath here and then I just covered it over with this last piece here and I have it inside out so that I can sew it around the edges on both of these and then I'll flip it right side in and then stuff it with all the filling. I'm hoping it came out in a nice enough circle, but we'll see. These are all set. They're pretty big. It might be hard to tell, but I'm gonna have my kids sit on them so you can see the size of these. All I did after stuffing it with the filling, I then just sewed the outside. I made I made this um, opening pretty big because there was a lot of material that I had to pull to make it um, right side out. So the stitch that I made goes from here all the way over to here and I did that part by hand and here's a close-up of it I use this really thick white cottony thread the same day I said I was gonna show my kids on the pillows to show the true size he comes home and he's playing and then he just fell right out <laughs> 